Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. So at the bottom of the deck here, we have um, the two of swords, the waiting game. So you're expecting some type of material or spiritual prosperity here that you're going to receive with the solar plexus chakra. This is your willpower, your determination, your life force energy, but maybe you've been trapped in fear. So, so right away, someone here is trapped in fear about whether or not you're going to receive some kind of rewards or recognition. You're going to have accelerated motion. Here's that number four, the four of cups. So this is being discontent and bored, spiritual strength and sacral chakra, and then the nine of cups. Yeah, more of this purple energy, ace of wands and awareness. That's one, one there. You can be life path number one, or you're seeing the number 11, 411. I don't know, I'm getting something here with fours. Something of significance could have happened on um, April 14th. April 8th, I think that was the day of the eclipse, right? You're needing to have patience. Okay, okay, okay. And look at this, crown chakra and transformation. Ooh, new beginnings. What is this? And then the universe. That's the world, deception and envy. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Intuition, heartache and loss. So your intuition, I guess, is telling you something right now. There's something very significant. This is about your crown chakra. Okay, the color purple, this is about your crown chakra. This could have to do with maybe a relationship. You are waiting for justice, okay? Whoever this message is for, you are waiting for justice. You know it's coming. You, um... With the eclipse, as I said before, the eclipse, this Aries energy number four, like I said, fourth month of the year. It's like you, you're, wait, you're ready for something to be eclipsed out of your life. You really want this something gone. You, you want something to hit at the core. You want the root of something out. Somebody could have been stung by a bee. Because that's what I'm getting. It's like... You want the core of something out, like a pimple. You, you're ready for something. You're ready for something to pop. These are all the images I'm seeing in my head. You're ready for something to just pop, or you're ready for your big moment. Okay, you yeah, you're waiting for six of pentacles. Like you want this um, equal give and take. You want to be recognized for something that you put a lot of work into with the solar plexus energy here, something that has come from you having a lot of willpower, a lot of determination. You you feel like like it's it's your your time, like you're up for something. And you are the trap, trapped in fear. You may not be seeing like a material harvest just yet, but there's definitely a spiritual harvest. As above, so below. You definitely manifested something spiritually. And maybe you're not seeing it show up just like I said in in the physical just yet. And this is causing you to be a little bit afraid. But you have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. So once this comes to you, the, the rewards, the recognition, the success, the material harvest is coming. Okay. Some of you, whatever this big break is, could lead to you taking a really nice vacation. You could be traveling. Um, you could even be relocating. Some of you, you may need to consider relocating in order to have some type of passion, new beginning. But like right now, you may be feeling a little bit withdrawn from, from people, places, things, a situation. Transformation is out here. Yeah. The waiting game. So you, you may really be struggling right now with patience. So something is going to happen. You need to know that. But something is happening with you spiritually right now where it's like you, you're being forced some of you are just being forced, honestly, to work on patience. This is a spiritual, okay. This is some type of spiritual awakening happening. Someone could be experiencing ascension flu. Maybe you've been feeling like your emotions are up and down. You could even be feeling sick. I'm getting here. Somebody could be having headaches or you feel like there's some type of blockage. 
trapped in fear. You're, you're, you're worried about whether or not you're going to have wish fulfillment with something here. But you have, yeah, this is like the magician with um, the Ace of Wands. Recognition and reward. Yeah. You're waiting, your, your big break is coming. Whoever this is for, whoever is, your big break is coming. Your intuition is telling you. You have your heartache and losses, the three of swords with the heart chakra. Trust your intuition. Some of you, if you are worried and concerned, if you're going to receive equal give and take in a partnership, you are. There's something that possibly is, is troubling you. Yeah, it's something troubling you. It could be throwing your intuition off a bit at this time. But you have a brand new beginning here. Divine intervention or you need to have, there's a very serious conversation or you need to purge something with the transformation and the crown chakra here. Yeah, I feel like your mind, to be honest, it's almost like somebody's mind is sort of playing tricks on you or somebody is playing, somebody is playing tricks on your, your mind to confuse you with this deception and envy. But this is coming to an end with the universe card here. Something is coming full circle. You have a new beginning that's going to transform your life, but you're being um, strongly encouraged right now to change your mindset about whatever this is. Because it feels like, yeah, disruption and conflict and envy. It feels like you are very worried right now about being hurt or being defeated. You're worried about some type of ending or a tower that's coming that I don't think, it, if there's a tower that happens, it's not going to hurt you in any kind of way. This is going to be you getting away from something that has been very tempting, okay? But also with the temptation card here, I feel like it, whatever you've been very, very like hyper-focused on, almost obsessing over, which could be your material harvest right now, you're about to get your big break. The Ace of Pentacles is here with the, with the light. And the truth. Yeah, six of swords. You're moving on to peaceful, calm waters for sure. So something here is not what you think it is. It's not exactly as it appears to be. You are moving in the right direction and something is about to manifest for you beautifully. You just need to trust that. That's why the, the um, high priest, you're, you're needing to really go inward about something. And with this light card, this is like, no matter what is happening around you, you really need to stay centered and grounded in your own light. Um, something is being, with all this energy though, something is for sure being illuminated to you. You, you may be having, you know, now like a, You're about to get some kind of clarity about a major offer or opportunity. Hmm. That's a judgment card and the six of swords. Somebody here is definitely going through like an awakening for sure. This is something about a spiritual awakening, though. So I'm assuming this has to do with like your mindset. Your mindset is about to shift or change. If you've been feeling any type of mild depression, um, sadness, anger, discontentment, boredom, like you've been withdrawn or something, like that's about to shift here. There's going to be some powerful revelation or a conversation even for some of you because this is the star. This is you moving on to stardom or for some of you to fame, to fortune. Um, but the star, this is you also just moving on to being more hopeful. Like this is healing, having more faith. For for some, if there's been a situation, uh, I'm not really getting right now a relationship, but if you've been in a relationship and it has been difficult for something to manifest, this has to do with a, um, 
it's a mindset. Yeah, it is. Because here's the five of pentacles and the five of swords and the nine of swords. Yeah. Four of swords. Somebody here has a is about to have some very deep healing and get clarity about their destiny. You have five, 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 five here. There's 55, 55 out here. Fives are is a number of change for sure. It, usually, it, it, it for sure has a lot to do with financial changes. This fear of being broke or in poverty that someone has had, like being in survival mode, suffering in silence due to some type of loss. Someone here is afraid that they're going to take a loss. Wisdom here. But wisdom, this has to do with like traditional thinking your morals, your values. I, I feel like someone is, is breaking out of this poverty consciousness or lack mentality, these limited beliefs here that they've had that has been, honestly, the reason why you or whoever this is has been suffering in silence. As someone goes within for some kind of healing, I keep hearing there's something about a conversation here, okay? For some of you, this conversation, I don't know, you could be talking to it like a coach, a therapist, um, this is some type of wise counsel where you're about to realize why things are not perhaps manifesting. I mean, it could be a tarot reading, whatever. You're about to realize that there is some type of programming or conditioning that has made it very hard for you to have the breakthrough that you want. I, I'm here somebody like, I'm just waiting on my moment. I'm just waiting on my moment. It's coming. Yeah, see? That's the shadow card. It's coming with victory and success. But here, solitude, the hermit card. You're needing to go within. Somebody here, you need to go within and allow yourself to go through this spiritual awakening here. Once again, the color purple. Okay. And when I looked up that person's birthday, cancer, the cancer card, um, Again, that has to do, you know, with things in the sh in the shadows. That's um, also your subconscious, your your intuition here. You know, and it is it's the moon. This is confronting something that has been dwelling in your shadow, that has been blocking you from seeing. Once you realize this, it's like boom, everything just kind of unlocks and unfolds because you're gonna be able to temper yourself and find this balance within. To stand your ground. This could be for a masculine here. Wow. And then here love begins. Okay. 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 Here we go. Love is going to begin when someone really can figure out the truth about, I feel like their upbringing, some type of programming. Because you have here base chakra and throat chakra. And although I'm not seeing like a relationship out here, I'm intuitively getting, it's like a divine feminine and masculine. And this may just be, maybe it's not like a relationship. It's your relationship with, with yourself, your higher self. Balancing the feminine and masculine energy because we have here, this is like the root chakra and the throat chakra, okay? Which is family, security, stability, your sense of, your sense of, of feeling secure, secure and then your throat chakra, you know, how you speak, you know, saying what you mean, meaning what you say. But we have that very significant energy here with the crown chakra as well. So I feel like there is a full, there's an alignment that's happening. But it comes from this clarity. Someone is about to have a major aha moment like this. Spiritual revelation. Absolutely. What is this about, though? It could be about so many things. I feel like there is something out here, too, about family. There could even be an inheritance to someone. Someone has been waiting on something. You're like, where is my money? Or where is this gift? Where is this? You're waiting on the outcome. You're waiting to receive something. But it has been on hold because there was something that you needed to learn. 
For some of you, you needed to stand up for yourself. You needed to learn to stand up to, for yourself to your family, especially if this is a masculine, as in like not your own masculine energy, whether you're male or female, but let's say if you're a divine feminine and you're dealing with a masculine, maybe this person, they've not been able to stand up for their family. I, it's a lot out here about finances as well. Someone not under, like not feeling very secure and stable so they could have sort of a, a poverty mindset or a lack mentality or be in survival mode or something like that. This could, you know, lead to some people being afraid to commit, you know, not really wanting to take on responsibilities, even being selfish. It's something like that. Cycles. Yeah. See, someone here is recognizing that they have a cycle. Here you have it. A cycle here of selling out. Someone is breaking out of this, this, um, this illusion that they have about security and stability. So someone has been in a cycle for a very long time. Let me see, one and nineteen, January nineteenth could be significant. So definitely Capricorn energy here. June nineteenth, Cancer. January 6th will still be Capricorn, June 1st. Hmm. Cancer always makes me think about the mother, the home. And here's the alchemy card. Someone here is about to tap into their own personal alchemy and then patience. Yeah, learning patience, getting out of cycle, out of a cycle of self-sabotage that you have been in because you've been conditioned to sell out. And with, with saying, you know, sell out here, this is simply saying that, you know, you've been in conditions or in an environment in a, in a constant cycle of sort of being tempted to do things that you don't want to do. I'm hearing take one for the team or for the greater good of all. So this could be someone who has been caught up in a cycle of trying to take care of their kids or their family. You could be the type of person where you take care of like your, um, you know, the elders in your family or something. Somebody's inner strength is being tested, like your faith. Because the truth is that somebody has been in a cycle with temptation and selling out here in a cycle of doing things that, to be honest, either you just really hate the stuff that you do, um, you could be in a toxic environment. I know I said before, like, there may be a need to change your location, to really stand up for yourself. This is making a choice of are you going to use what God has given you? Or it's like you, um, if you snooze, you lose. If you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. So you're becoming more empowered to get out of this cycle of staying in situations that are, are toxic to you. They're toxic to your spirit. They don't really allow you to grow. And this temptation card here, this is, this is some type of uh, something in your shadow, I feel, like your shadow side that sort of keeps you, honestly, this may be like codependent relationships even. Because of some type of codependency, some type of habit, you may at times fall into a cycle or a trap of making the wrong decision or staying with the wrong people, choosing the wrong things because you're trying to, maybe this is people pleasing, please other people. But there's a need here with selling out a temptation that you have to make sure you're not Doing something that lacks integrity. You're being urged right now to really follow your heart. And I feel like someone, I get it. Someone is being tested because you may almost start to feel tempted to do something that you know is not in alignment with your higher self because you're tired of waiting. 
And this is self-sabotage creeping in. Like, you know, you're not going to get that opportunity or you're not going to get that. You don't need to settle. Self-sabotage is creeping in to make you settle or to make you stay stuck or complacent. So some of you, you're being challenged because you're like, yo, it, it's getting hard to survive at this point. This is this is what the test comes in to really test your faith. Can you actually make it through the storm? You can because you're having you're receiving help from above. You can, but I mean that's your choice. This could definitely be someone at this point choosing, you know, starting to question, you know, should you just stay in a relationship or should you get into a relationship that you know isn't aligned for you? And it could be any kind of relationship. It could be a business relationship. But Spirit is saying in order for you to get out of this cycle, you cannot settle. You can't operate out of fear and settle. You look at that toxicity in a hot mess. There is a situation that will make you show up, look, in the waiting game. With thorns here, you have to make a painful sacrifice in order to get around this mountain here and receive good news. This requires you to um, okay. So for some of you, big big um, thing here. Either you haven't healed from, fully from a situation or you may find out that someone is a hidden enemy. Someone is being two-faced. There could be a third party in a relationship or you just have outside people who are... Um, Throwing a lot of energy at you, making you feel very rejected. Someone could have ghosted you. Or you may feel like you just want to ghost everyone. There's a, a big energy here on of ghosting. You may feel like you just kind of want to run away from everyone right now. But your purpose is to, you have a purpose to be happy as, an, as this like angel, this earth angel. You're supposed to be very happy, but... You need to ghost anything or anyone that has ghosted you or made you feel like you like you like they were putting you on a third party or something like that. So you have to make a painful sacrifice right now to put yourself first. There's something out here, um, either you or someone around you is very irresponsible. And you're needing to purge this energy. It could be some kind of dead end relationship. Where you've been like sort of waiting on something or someone. Putting your life on hold. And it's like right now life is testing you. And you need patience. But for some of you, it's, it's kind of odd because for some of you, there's a situation that requires patience that's for you. And there's something that you've been waiting on that's not for you. The situation that is for you, it will start to move with this accelerated motion when you let go of whoever or whatever is not for you, like fully. And the way that you're going to let go of this person, place, thing, or situation is not for you is for a mindset shift. You need to be very clear right now about what you want. And anything that does not align with what you know you truly want, you're going to have to make the painful sacrifice to leave it behind. Whether it's a friend, family member, lover, job, whatever, it, you, you cannot take it with you. Here you have good news and then you have the hidden. Some of you, you have people around you. They have hidden motives, bad intentions. They're secretly jealous or they're being two-faced or something like that. 
and they're trying to interfere in your business. Some of you, you have partnerships, contracts, new deals, opportunities coming. The doors are not fully open because you still have the wrong people around you. And what you're going to have to do is cut all communication and really choose to be alone. Somebody out here, what, what you're still trying to, there's this is codependency. You're still trying to take something or someone with you that's not meant to go. And in order for you to be happy, you're going to have to do the soul work. You know, you can't, you can't heal in the same place that broke you. Some of you are still trying to heal in the same places, you know, in, in spaces that really hurt you. You're trying to grow and evolve, but you're still hanging around the same people. You're still doing the same things. You still have the same mindset. You know, it's, for instance, a lot of people, of course, they want to manifest love. But if you keep telling yourself that there's no good people, well, good people, they're, they're, you're, you're not going to easily attract them. You're being divinely guided to become very happy, but you're being asked to still do the soul work. You need to find your true meaning and purpose in life. Someone here that crown chakra energy, this is you going on your spiritual journey. And with the spiritual journey, you will find yourself in isolation because literally God will start to make people ghost you or and you will start to ghost people, but you have to be in isolation to receive this download. It says, renewal, leave old flames, embrace the new. Release of energy and emotions, playing with fire. Yeah, this is leaving child, childish behavior behind and being faced with choices on how exactly do you want to show up in the world now. This is about your image, who you are becoming. This is like a spiritual initiation. For some of you, you're ready to start a family. But in order to start a family, you need to actually think about your, your own self-image. What type of mindset do you have? Some of you, you have a certain image or a mindset. And to be honest, God is like, well, I really don't want that to be instilled in these future children. Or I don't want you to take that type of mindset or image or, or their behavior into this new beginning. So until you can fix that, the moon card here, until you can really dig deep and find out the truth. about things, then it's going to be difficult with the world here for you to complete complete this cycle fully. But there is a really major milestone here that requires a painful sacrifice. And I knew before I was getting it, but I didn't want, you know, it's not just about love here, but for some of you, you're stressed out about love and, and money. Or, you know, or it's either or, or your partner, someone you're dealing with, they could be stressed out about either, you know, making you a love offer because of finances or something like that. Something I'm getting though is it's like some of you are are currently going through like a spiritual awakening. You're learning something, but you could have um, a new contract in love and or finances coming in. Something out here it is worth waiting for, but there's some type of healing. It's like one. There's a this last test that you need to pass that you need to complete. For you to be fully initiated and, a, and able to go into this next chapter that you're where you're gonna receive like this major milestone. 
you're about to receive all the answers and clarity that you need. But in order to, to receive this information, this download, like you need to be in isolation because you need to let go of something and heal it. And it's going, it, it, this, is the, this is like an emotional release. The moment that you have like some type of revelation that you've been holding on to something that you need to release or a person, for some of you, it's like you've been setting limits on yourself and you don't even realize it because you've been conditioned in a way to not like really um, go after wish fulfillment. It's like you've sort of been conditioned to play a small look, surrender your fear of intimacy and surrender creativity. So it's like you want to let love in, but your fear around it is blocking your ability to actually create the type of relationships that you want. And again, it does not have to be romantic. It could just be relationship. You just may want community. So yeah, look at that. Surrender to your soul's path. It's like your life journey is, is here. It's unfolding. It's been designed for you to grow. So you may need to allow yourself to really recognize that some of the things that have hurt or even harmed you in some way, it was designed that way for the, the evolution and the growth of your soul. You needed to embrace those lessons, but purge energetically and emotionally because there's a huge opportunity that, that you're right on the brink of receiving. Yeah, see, look, I knew it. Surrender the habit of people pleasing and surrender your attachment to results. Surrender your desire to control people. This is about relationships, okay? Some Somebody out here, you have a lot of really unhealthy relationships and you're wanting to control people. You're very attached to the result. Like, don't worry about, is it going to work out? Is it meant to be forever? You don't need to worry about any of that. Some of you are going to have to accept that there are some people in your life, they are truly only there for a reason and a season. It feels like someone... It's still very caught up on the fact that a situation was or is meant to only be a lesson and not a lifetime. And you're obsessively thinking about this. Yeah, and you need to set limits in a situation, have boundaries for you to have inner peace. So if you're currently like in some kind of relationship or situationship, whether it's in the workplace or whatever, some of you are needing to stop worrying so much about the future and focus on the present. And to be quite frank and honest, if you're not getting what you want right now, it's okay for you to take a step back. It's not to say that this cannot change, but it seems that right now you're very focused on the outcome in a situation and it's starting to become some type of obsession. And this, this will lead to you oftentimes wanting to control a person or you want to control the timing of situations and you shouldn't do that. I know that's very hard, but this, this, is, this is control. So somebody is possibly needing to learn how to stop being controlling, but being controlling oftentimes comes from a fear of being let down. If you don't have a strong sense of security and stability, which starts with the root chakra, you will become like super codependent or extremely independent. Because you're afraid, you know, to not have support. Yeah, even when you're afraid to not have support, that's why some people that, you know, you hear people say, I'll just do it by myself. I'll just do it by myself. And there could be a person here that is meant to help you. But as soon as you don't see something and get, the, get it the way you want, you're ready to push them away. And then some of you could be dealing with people and they're showing you that, that they're not going to help you. You would have to bend your, your back to try to be their backbone. And it's just a codependent, toxic relationship. But someone here who is unavailable or toxic... 
there's no need to try to control that person or obsessively think about it. It's time for you at this point to just say, no. This could be friends, family, lovers, all of the above. Just see that, okay, this was meant to be a lesson. Learn that this was a lesson in order for you to be initiated into this next cycle. And in this next cycle, that's where you will receive your rewards, these milestones. You, you know, you will be completely done with whatever this is. Your money and love offers are being blocked, honestly, by this obsessive thinking. It could even be in a, in a current situation that you're in. You could be in a relationship right now that can really go the distance, but because you have so much um, anxiety about it, it's not allowing it to really like manifest. Yeah. There's going to be a change in the home or work. And it could involve relocating. Somebody out here has, maybe you have changed for work. You've relocated and this has, wow. So someone moving out of town for work or just a new start. This is the beginning of someone's like spiritual journey, their initiation. Someone being in a new place, it's it's leading to you doing this really, really deep shadow work and healing. Okay, this this is kind of taking, you know, of course, a lot of, you know, things in, what may come out in the reading and they're not all related. But I'm picking up now, it could be a feminine or a masculine where someone has already taken the step to possibly change their job, relocate. Or something like that. And someone is at the beginning of their spiritual journey. This is the crown chakra activation that someone is receiving. And it looks like someone is learning with that root chakra, throat chakra energy. That they're needed to surrender these unhealthy relationships. This could absolutely be related to family. In order for someone to surrender fully to their soul's path. They're going to have to stop people pleasing and being so attached to the outcome of being like the caretaker or the provider for their family. Somebody is doing, and we just saw this just came out the other day. Someone here has, has put themselves out as like the martyr in this self-sacrificial energy for their friends or their family. To the point that a person will almost start to settle or even do something that is not in alignment with their higher self to make these other people happy. And I'm picking up a strong masculine. There's a masculine out here who is going through an awakening where they're beginning their spiritual journey and they're seeing that this person's mental health is, is struggling almost because they feel so alienated. This person is realizing that they cannot trust the people that they thought they could trust. Their family and friends is not what they, it's just, it's an awakening. And this can be scary. So this, for some of you, if you are connected to this person, this could be something that can work out. If this is your friend or even like a potential lover, but this person is going through a spiritual awakening right now and they are, God needs them in this, this period of isolation. This is, this was like some type of divine plan or intervention where God literally wants to separate someone from, from everyone. So he literally may be moving you or whoever this person is to a, a totally different location because you have the alien card out here. Somebody could be going to um, a foreign, like a foreign land, to a different city, state, country, continent. Someone is going 
there that's leaving home. Somebody is leaving home. And once they leave home, they become this owl. They they begin to see things that are hidden. They do deep shadow work. This person could all, somebody also could get away from home and realize that there is some type of magic or witchcraft that has been done by friends or family where they are. And the further they get away from these people, the more inner wisdom and guidance that this person is going to start to tap into them, their higher self more once they get away from this community, these people, this family. And But it's going to take time for someone to recognize that their issue has possibly been like their friends and family. Some Somebody is still very much in denial about that. But over time, being out of this environment, somebody's gonna be like, oh, okay. Because they're gonna start, it's gonna be easy, become easier to breathe and to, to get things done and to learn. This is interesting. I just picked up, this is the wrong deck that I just picked up, but I feel like I should pull it and see what comes up. This is, yeah, some deep inner work. But somebody needs a change of location. With owl and relocation here. And this is going to lead to someone changing, like, their, their image. Yeah, somebody is moving. They're moving to a foreign land, and they're going to completely change their image. This somebody here is in survival mode. They need to get out of a place that has them feeling very depressed. Dealing with this mental anguish from these unhealthy relationships. Because what it's causing someone to do is to attract more um more negativity in their life. Once somebody wakes up from this, this is when love and money and everything else flows in. So somebody needs to change their location and they need to get far away from whoever this is. Look, we said this before about patience. This card says impatient. Look for patterns of your impatience. Notice the negative physical symptoms it causes you. Take deep breaths and slow down. See, someone here is in survival mode. They, they're, they're stressed. They're worried. They have this anxiety. And the question that someone needs to stop and slow down and ask is why? Because someone here is trying to force a toxic situation or a family dynamic or something to work and God is saying no, I don't want you to do this I don't want you here this is like I tell some people when you drive to work and you're in the parking lot having anxiety attacks every day but as soon as you you know hit the street that the company is on you you start to feel depressed when your mood changes every day when you go to work or you leave work that may not be the the place where you need to be working you know, or when you feel like every time you pull up into your own home, you got to sit in the driveway or the garage for 20 minutes before you even go inside. This, you don't like being in that, that setting. You don't like being in the house with those people. This is you. You have a roommate and you're sick. And you don't like being in the home with this person. Whatever this is, it's something here that has reached a, a breaking point. Someone is waiting on um, a major shift, but it's like, this feels like someone who has already made some type of shift or change, but there's still someone around or something that you're doing or allowing, you're going to have to purge entirely. It's like, okay, you moved away from your family home. But you still talk to all of your family every day. <laughs> you know, so you're not in the house with them anymore, but you still talk to them every day. So all of the drama that's happening in the home, you're still listening to it. So it's still affecting you. Somebody needs a clean break of everything. In order to get this, this download, you it's like you earn 
these stripes. You prove spiritual strength by how you make it through isolation. But somebody is constantly um, running away from being in isolation. That's because someone is fighting against this codependency. And they're going impatient. You or someone is becoming impatient. Why aren't things working? Because you're in the wrong place and around the wrong people. In the wrong mindset. Wow. Look, it says knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Superficial. You care too much about outward appearances. Start with your inner work, your value, your self-esteem, your personality. Possessive, you're clinging on to someone or something way too tightly. Learn to let go. Love has no ownership. Everyone has free will. And then you have greed and envy here. Envy, remind yourself that no one has it all. It's okay to celebrate others' successes. You truly are good enough. And greed, you are too attached to things in an excessive way. Nothing good comes out of it. Wow. And see, this is what I'm saying. This type of mindset is leading someone to becoming possibly greedy, envy, or possessive. And I feel like this is someone they don't even recognize it. This is someone, this may not be you. Click. This may not be you. This could be someone that you are around who does not, who is lacking self-awareness. This could be a for sure, I'm definitely picking up like a masculine that's going through an ego death and some type of, um, they're starting their spiritual journey. This person could be very, they, they come off like they're controlling, they're greedy, they're possessive. Sometimes it's not that a person is bad. Sometimes this, this is their shadow coming out because of this, um, this fear of failure or someone is becoming impatient. To be honest, it's like someone is tired of being the underdog. But someone is the underdog because of their mindset. And now because they're becoming so impatient about not being where they want to be, they're starting to focus on things that's putting them in a lower frequency of vibration or, or they're starting to recognize it. Some of you, this is someone you're dealing with um, romantically. So let's just see what's the possible outcome of this if this is like a person you're dealing with. You have here new love and excitement. It says excitement. Someone new is coming in. Okay. So, you know, this might be something that you have to just release and let this person go through their awakening or this person could be presenting themselves. Yeah, it could be this person though, but right now they're they're in fear. You see all this darkness? It This could be your new lover that's going through a spiritual awakening, but they're holding back and they're overthinking. This person is holding back and they're overthinking a lot right now about a love offer and their finances. It's because they're going through a spiritual awakening. They don't really know what to expect. This person, they're, even if they really care about you, they may not be quite ready for a relationship. They need to have this spiritual transformation. Flow. Wish fulfillment. It says wish fulfillment flow. Surrender. And then you have your romance, wine and dine. Holding on, clingy, won't let go, past life connection, divine feminine union together. For some of you, this person, they're clinging to you. Um, you're a divine feminine. So it, so it feels like <laughs> someone has met their divine feminine But they're going through shadow work. And this right here is causing a separation for some of you. If this is because Divine Feminine has possibly already come out of a cycle of selling out. And now you have this person that's sort of in their shadow. They're, communi they're communicating. Now, I don't know if this is new love or for some of you. You have a past person that won't let go, but you have somebody else that's going through a spiritual awakening. Yeah. Something here is forbidden. Temptation is forbidden. 
and you're being advised right now to take action to go within. But like I said before, it feels like it's more than one situation going on. You have something that still sort of has a hold on you. I don't really think that it'll go the distance because you've been waiting on it. But you have another situation that could be worth the wait. So you just have to be patient. But while you're waiting, you should be going with and focusing on shadow work and healing yourself and loving yourself. Don't um don't be superficial or if a person comes into your life, if they need to go on their spiritual path or journey and there needs to be a separation or whatever, just you don't you don't need to be possessive. What is yours, what's for you is for you. And if you're someone that's in a season of waiting, don't allow yourself to be jealous or envious of other people. Your time is going to come. Yeah, see? Your time is coming. Marriage. Wow. Divine connection and freaking marriage popped out. Your time is coming. You do not have to worry. You don't have to be jealous or envious of, it, of anyone. Even if there's something out here you need to let go of and there's something out here that, um, yeah, you're not seeing something clearly because this person that is trying to tempt you back into a karmic cycle with them, this is, this is triggering some type of self-sabotage energy. And so when you meet a person that's also on their spiritual journey, which could be this new love, because they're not 100% ready. I feel like you're starting to question, you know, is this something that's good for you? Or you're questioning yourself, you know, am I ready to go out? Am I ready for this job? Or whatever the case is. And you are ready for it. It's just you need to allow yourself to lean into it slowly. You don't have to do wait until anything is perfect. But recognize when you still need to, you know, do some more cleansing and clearing. And we all have to do it. A lot of times people don't realize until they connect, especially with the divine feminine or masculine, that they're not healed because the light of that other person is for sure going to trigger something dark within you. I always say people talk a lot about the toxic relationships, but you have no idea how triggered you will be until you actually get into a very healthy relationship. It's going to trigger you in so many ways because it's going to pull all of that darkness out of you. That was left behind by those toxic, triggering, and traumatic people in situations. Some of you, you have a very dark energy here and then you have someone that is of light. They are triggering something dark within you or you've met someone right now, you're triggering something in them. It could be just you and someone are mirroring each other. And the reason why this past energy seems to be coming up and we are a Mercury restaurant, look at that, it is safe for you to love, is because you're recognizing that something is not like the past. See, you have someone here who is unawakened, they're ruled by ego, And then you have unconditional love. I love you. So somebody right now could be, you know, unawakened, but they have unconditional love for you. But you also have someone who is unawakened, ruled by ego. They're toxic and they're a narcissist. So you have to know how to read and recognize the signs to see which is which. But it's something out here you should know. You absolutely cannot move forward with it or go back to it. It's something else out here that just requires some patience. But nobody is saying sit around and wait, continue to live your life, but don't be attached to the results. Allow this to just unfold naturally, whatever it is. So in other words, some of you, when it comes to your love life, your career, your finance, you need to just do a full surrender. You cannot control anyone. You obsessively thinking about it is not going to change. But the people that you know can't give you what you want, you need to set firm boundaries with them and just cancel it out. Everybody's going to be a work in progress when they meet someone or someone can come to you, you think that they're perfect. But again, once that healing energy is there, that light, that divine light is going to trigger you and a person. 
That doesn't mean, oh, throw throw the, the person or the relationship away. It's just you're going to have to work through that shadow aspect of yourself and that person will as well. Some of you could be in a connection with someone and you are being separated by um, physically because one of you may have to relocate for work, business, or whatever the case is. This time alone is going to force a spiritual awakening. It's going to force you... For some of you, it's going to force you to learn how to trust because this is going to be your test. Either you're going to trust this person being at a distance or not, but someone being at a distance that you can't see all the time is going to trigger you into thinking about when you had situations in your life and you knew you couldn't trust the person. This is leading to self-sabotage. I hope this is all making sense because it's a lot, but I mean, I can see it clearly. It just feels like you have something here that's good, but it's triggering you because you're used to something really bad. 